This video will show you how to upgrade your disk to a larger disk or SSD. Here is a quick overview of the disk cloning. If it contains the OS disk, you may need a lot of steps, including converting the GPT and set the BIOS to UEFI. For non-OS disks, you just need a few steps. We will use the free tool partition resizer to do the cloning. First of all, if it's non-OS disk, you may right-click here and go to copy disk. This is the source disk. And then the destination disk. We have new disk 1, 2, 3. The 1 is initialized as GPT. If you clone an MBR disk to GPT without changing it to GPT first, the destination disk will be changed to MBR. We have some new disks uninitialized that can be used. And this is the cloning and click apply changes. Then the cloning is finished. Part 2. We will clone the OS disk 0 to disk 1. The disk 1 is the GPT. The disk 2 is a new disk. You may directly clone the OS disk to disk 2. If the OS disk is MBR, then the destination disk 2 will be changed to MBR. We will show you how to keep it GPT later. To start cloning, click here. The Tools tab and Migrate OS Wizard and then select the GPT. The GPT will be changed to MBR automatically. You see the GPT has been changed to MBR. Click Apply Changes. This is the step one, step to change the drive later. And then click apply changes. The disk 0 has been cloned to disk 1. If you want to boot from disk 1, you need to change it in BIOS. Reboot. Restart. And here we use F2. We have cloned the 0 to 1 to boot from the disk 1. We use plus on the keyboard to make it top. Press F10 to save and exist. Press enter on yes.
Now the disk one has the C drive. We are booting from the disk one. In order to test another cloning from OS disk to a GPT disk, we initialize the disk2 to be GPT. And then we will clone the disk to disk2. First, we need to convert the OS disk from MBR to GPT. The OS disk shows MBR. Now we will use the CMDM BR to GPT to convert OS disk to GPT. Convert the OS disk GPT, change BIOS to UEFI, and then start cloning. The rest of steps are the same. Okay, let's try this one. It says the disk layout validation failed. Here are some causes that the MPR2 GPT may fail. You need to have less than three partitions. No logical partition. There is a logical partition on the disk. You may back up this partition to somewhere else. And then delete it. Here we can directly delete it. Since we don't have data on this volume. And then we try again. Now it's working. Now it's time to change the firmware from BIOS to UEFI. You may shut down the PC now. Okay, let's try changing the BIOS. Here we need to edit it to boot from UEFI. You may press your own BIOS key to set UEFI. And now here in our case, we need to click here UEFI and then start the PC. Now let's try cloning the OS disk to GPT. To clone the OS disk, you need to come to this place. Click Migrate OS Wizard. If there are partition on the this disk, you need to delete all partitions. So please prepare some empty disk for the cloning.
and then click Apply Changes to start the cloning. Now is step 4, to change the drive letter if you want to use the disks on the same computer. Click Apply. Now we can see the disk. Disk 1 has been cloned to disk 2. If you want to boot from disk 2, you can use the boot manager or enter BIOS to reset boot order. Press F2 or use your own BIOS setting key. Set to start from disk 2. Now disk 2 is the 3TB disk. The cloned OS partition. Now we press enter. The disk to boot drive has been changed to C drive. We are now booting from the disk too. So it's all finished. Here is a quick review of the steps. You may follow these steps and get them changed one by one. Thanks for watching.